everything is nice. Let's take a look at this car first. Damn, this car looks nice. It got both audio in this thing. I believe this is like a Nissan Kicks or Rouge or something. But I like this like classic orange color you get in here in this time. It's pretty basic. So I was right, it was a Nissan Kicks. So as you can see, interior is pretty basic. It's pretty small. Of course it's a hatchback anyway. And for the trunk space, it's pretty decent. You can fit like grocery bags and oh, here's your spare tire. And this thing is a manual tailgate, just like any other Nissan. Right here we got the 2022 Nissan Ultima SR. Nice car too. It's a four-door sedan. It's got that orange color. Let's check out the interior. And thank you, Logan. You've got orange stitching, a black interior. Seats are pretty comfortable. In this car, you got manual seats. You've got a nice gear selector plus radio. And this thing does have push button start, but I don't want to start it up. But I kept putting it on accessory mode. No shifter paddles, which is pretty sad, but let's move on to the next car. Before we do that, let's check out the trunk space. Decent amount of trunk space for a family vehicle. It's a prototype anyway. Over here we got a 2022 Nissan Titan Pro 4x. 4x, wherever you want to say. But this is a massive pickup truck. Like, this is a massive pickup truck. You got it in a red finish color. You got no step bars, but it's alright. Even if you're, if you're a little child, thing is massive. It's massive in here. Okay, I better get out the car. Up next, we got a gray Bronco Sport, also known as the Big Band. Nice, classy interior. I've never been in a Bronco like this before. You've got a gray interior finish, just like any other Bronco will have. Got a nice gear selector, Gort modes, push button start too, nice steering wheel, and a shifter. Is this a way? Got a little storage thing right here. Owner's manual, glove box, center console. Pretty big. Pretty big in here. Holy Jesus. Oh my gosh. I can't breathe. It's pretty big here for almost like four, no, two boxes. Let's go check out another car. Now here's a car that I really want to see in my whole life. This is the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning. Here's another car that I really like to see. A 2022 Toyota Venza. Of course it's a hybrid, so. Getting inside this Venza. It's pretty spacious in here. Standard console is pretty high too. We got heated and cooled. We got a JBL audio system in here. Since it's a hybrid, you get a power button. Pretty cool. Let's move on to another car. Now, this is another family car. As you can see, this is a 2022 Toyota Sienna. I believe this is the XLE version. Display inside, and again, you can go even higher than that. You can get semi aniline leather seats now, which is such a plush leather that we used to only put it on our Lexus grade vehicles. Well, guess what? You can get that in the Tundra now. How cool is that? It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Thank you. What's your name? My name's Ilakia. Very nice to meet you. I hope you're having a good time here at the show today. You can call inside and be my Tundra. Model. I am having a good so, time. Ladies and gentlemen, come over and join us. Sit inside the new Tundra, kick some tires, ask us Holy questions. That's Jesus. what we're here for. Here to help you find the vehicle of your dreams. My name's Amanda. We have Heather. We have Maria. Please let us know how we can help you today. And let's go for this it. This Tundra is massive. Here, hon. 
something a little bad. This tunnel is really massive, guys. <laughs> the center console, I can't even reach my driver's seat. To... Oh my gosh. This thing's got a massive upgrade to it. But Jesus. I can't even imagine how these people like, can handle these features. Of course, it's a TRD. It's got a nice touch screen. Oh. Look at this. I can't even believe how massive know, this thing huh? is. Mm. This thing is a beauty. We've got a 2022 Toyota GR86. This thing is beautiful. We've got a boxer engine in it, of course from Subaru. But this thing is a beast. Even for its small, small features and small car, this is massive. So you're currently seeing a Toyota Highlander with its third row seats up. It's a pretty decent amount of trunk space, but you can lift this up. Not that up though. But as you can see, you got plenty of room. I believe these parts right here. It's just for accessory, but a decent amount of trunk space to get and fit some grocery bags in here but it's pretty spacious up next we've got a 2022 toyota tacoma which is a smaller version of the tundra so as you can see here it's pretty basic in here i'm sorry is that a manual climbing inside this tundra it's not a manual I wish this was a manual because of this shifter boot. It's pretty cool. Push button start, you got a manual e-brake. Coming back here, Logan. Yeah, yeah, of course starting, of course starting. Oh my God. This right here is a Volvo. As you can see, a sticker price. Oh, it's a Volvo T6. It's really beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful in here too. And if I had my own car company, then I would. Like, look at this. Nice screen. Review mirrors. Oh, hi. I found the monster truck. My brother is calling me because he found a monster truck. Logan, where'd you find a monster truck? Oh, that ain't no monster truck. Instead, this is a, oh my God. Oh my gosh. What is this? What is that beast? Anyways, coming back here to this real T6. Pretty spacious interior. Control your climate. It's pretty comfy. This is a lock button. Panoramic sunroof. I believe this is a light. And I'm going back here in this third row. It's pretty easy. Let's see how I fit, even though I'm four foot nine. This is beautiful. This right here is a new Subaru WRX. Same boxer engine, but just a redesign as you can see. Got a nice orange color with a plastic finish. And coming to the back, kind of looks like a Subaru BRZ. What the heck is the truck button? And it says it right there, it's a prototype vehicle, so yeah. Maybe coming out late 2020 or late 2022. Not 2020, 2020 already passed. So as you can see, this WRX of course has a manual transmission. It's a nice WRX too. Carbon fiber finish. And like I said, it's a prototype vehicle, so. 
let's move on. My favorite car brand of the Asian market is Kia. Kia is known for its luxury and performance. Also that Subaru. Coming into this Kia, you've got a six-speed automatic, and I better do this quick. Shift the paddles, nice Kia logo, touch screen, and this is the GT model, so it's got a turbo four-cylinder. Damn. This is the Kia Seltos. It's a compact SUV. <laughs> but this Kia Seltos is a compact car. I wouldn't say it's an SUV. But you got a nice automatic transmission, e-brake. Pretty good. Hazard lights. Turn signals. And you can get this in the lowest trim level to the highest. Let's move on. Oh, this thing is a manual tailgate. Pretty classy here. So, no third row seating because why not? Not why not. As you can see here, we got trunk carpet, got some lighting, got some grocery hooks, and it's pretty spacious here. It can fit like a box and grocery bags. So if we remove this seat, then you'll have more than that. This is the 2022 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. It's big. It's massive in here. I can't believe something like this from Jeep is here. From the old 1970s Grand Wagoneer to the new 2022. Big third row seats. Oh, wait, where's the TV come from? <laughs> Check this out. Now, this is the top of the line. Is it locked? Is it? No, okay, never mind. Well, oh my gosh, I can't even get back here. Now, this is the car I want with screen. A Fire TV Amazon screen. If you start this car up, you can get a Fire TV remote and watch your own YouTube videos. Nice screen right here. Nice. Third row seat is nice. You got your own center console too back here. This is massive. Jeep's hybrid Jeep. The 2022 Jeep Wrangler 4xE. So this thing has a hybrid engine. And it's not a plug-in hybrid, but you can get one in a plug-in hybrid too. All the batteries are back here. Under this. Like, it's not like any Tesla, but... Climbing back here, it's pretty tight. <laughs> I gotta say, it's pretty tight back here. Oh my gosh, you got a roll cage. Climate control, windows, windows. Yeah. This right here is the Ram 1500. It's got a eco diesel. Oh, diesel. I love diesels. But let's check out the interior. It's got a nice step bar. I like it. I love it. This is the limited edition. So, you've got a 3 liter diesel, eco diesel. And it's pretty ram like in here this screen is massive too <sighs> just like any other ram pickup truck it's pretty big nah getting into the back seats it's comfy back here oh my gosh oh my god i can lay down in here for almost an hour or so you got house outlet, USB, heated and cooled seats. Nice sunroof. This thing is massive. And, of course, a rear view. 
this is a Silverado pickup truck you will like. But if you want to go with a beefy V8, you can go with the 2022 Corvette C8. Please practice social distancing. Chevrolet cares. Yes. Look at this car. We got square dual exhaust. But it's a nice car. Yeah. This is a big sedan. This is the Silverado and it Jesus, it's massive! Holy it's smokes! This with seven passengers. There's only one floor. Yeah. Open the door, but look, look at down here. That is beautiful. This car is massive. You got a screen back here? It's cool. What do you think about the Silverado? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, you've got a little step bar. This thing retracts back if you close the door. Maybe not. But over here, we've got a 2022 Colorado ZR2 Bison. Please allow for only one group per vehicle at a time. Yep. It's just only me. How I get it in here? Camera down for a bit. A lot of work, but some techniques. Good. This is Colorado. It's pretty big. Ooh. Put in sport mode. massive too. I can't get it down. Oh shoot! I think there's a button for this. I think the tailgate is locked. Oh man. This is the Silverado 2500. It's pretty massive back here. I think this thing has 5.2 liter. I think it's a diesel. Now, this car right here is a car that most people want. It's a Jeep Renegade. Ugh. A lot of cops are here. I wonder why. But this Renegade is beautiful. It's got a nice touch screen. Volume. Push button starts? For a small vehicle like this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Piss off. <laughs> 2500, 3500, my ass. Damn it, I can't open the tailgate, but this is the Ram Power Wagon 2500. Ugh. How am I supposed to get up here? It's big back here. Holy Jesus. I don't even know how to get down. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna break my bone. Not a diesel. Just realized it's a honey. Oh my god. Same for the bed. Watch out. Watch your step. Oh my god. Ooh, little secret, guys. If you're gonna buy a ram, press this button and put your name to it. Yeah. Uh, glove box is pretty small. What do all these controls do? Oh, that's the thing. <laughs> what a classic! 1941 Sahara Jeep. Again, this thing is a hardtop. I think I gotten this before. No, I haven't. This is another one. But these doors are mad small. 
lock. Yeah, it is small. I don't think you can remove the top though. I wish you could, but it's only for the front. Coming back here, it's pretty spacious. You got both audio system, nice green metallic finish, handle, and cup holders, vent. I didn't know. I didn't know your window controls are back here. Like right there. This is the car everybody wants. The Dodge, the, not the Durango, but oh shoot, look at this. So I've been in a car like this before. My uncle has a Scat Pack burger. It's pretty big back here for sedan. But now let's check out this car right here. I think this is the Daytona version. Oh, famous stores. That's cool. My seat is so low. You've got a six-speed automatic transmission or an eight-speed for the lowest triple as you can get. But you got shifter paddles. Nice steering wheel. Oh, I love this race tech. Sport looking steering wheel, not steering wheel, pedals. I keep on getting used with steering wheels, but. Damn it, turn signal stuck is so. Jesus. Got your door handles down here? Let's try this out. Alright, we're done driving. Oh, it's pretty low. It's kind of like a race car. Maybe it's because this says the race car. I think this is a special edition because this is not a scat pack. Not a scat pack. I love this. Damn. So this is a RT scat pack, but it's pretty good. This is a Kia Sorento SX Prestige. Oh my gosh, it's comfy back here. This thing is massive. Even if you close the door. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder what happens if you. Is the key in here anyway? No, the key is not. But this car is beautiful. We got shifter paddles. How do you put this thing in sport mode, first of all? This car is beautiful. Let's move on to another car. Look at this K5. How do you open this trunk? Oh. Holy Jesus. This is probably the next gen um, Kia Cadenza. Okay, it's already down. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this car. I love this car. Wait, I've been in this car before. I forgot. But not a Kia. This car is a Kia EV6. It's. How do you open this thing? It, this is a pre production car, so they have it just like that. It will open automatically with your key fob. It'll detect it. The key fob will detect it. This is a pre production uh, vehicle. That's the one that's usually took the. And they've uh, ironed out all these kinks in the production. So I'm a car enthusiast. I love oh. I love every car in here. <laughs> and I've seen a review of this car before. The accent lighting. Does the accent lighting change color? Yeah. Or just to one that stop? That's weird. I'm very like, expert on wall The steering wheel kind of looks like the Genesis. <laughs> Shifter paddles. Wow. Plus and minus. Reverse, neutral drive, park. Easy start. I don't know if I want to start it up though. <laughs> I don't think the key fob is in here. <laughs> this car is the Mustang. It's beautiful. It's red. The Mustang GT. But you know what else besides a Mustang? A Maki. <laughs> yeah, a Maki. Yeah. What? Maki's aren't supposed to be in the Mustang? Well, too bad. <laughs> Huh? But this Maki is big. It's a hatchback. Oh, some tow hooks. Like, thing. Is this supposed to be the. Oh my! 
press this button and the door opens. No, no wonder why. No? Look at the engine, honey. Come here, look at the engine. This Maki is beautiful. Damn it, the key's not in here, but Jesus, I like this thing. Oh my god. If I try to press it again, you'll listen to the chime. Oh, it's cute. Ah, beautiful in here. Maki is nice. Let's go check out a soccer mom car. This is a Toyota Sienna. It's big. It's a hybrid. Of course, it's a hybrid. This is the one I was talking about with the TV. Oh, yeah. There's a TV. How do you like it? This car is beautiful. Like, Look at this. Drive modes, EV mode, park. Oh, auto hold. Volume knob is gone. This car is beautiful, though. I love it in here. You can sit down right here. You can put like a lot of people sitting right in the middle. Hello. So that's it. That's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you want more car show videos like this, please subscribe. Huh? Oh, awesome.